Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. Today we are going to be cooking. I'm going to be showing you guys the healthy meal prep that I make for George. And these are the meals that have helped him lose weight and get in shape. I'm going to show you guys the meals that I make for him and how I make them. Let's just jump right into cooking. I have a big pot of water boiling. My oven is preheating to 450. So if you are going to be cooking along with me during this video, or if you're just watching for fun, this is what I'm doing. There are two meals per day for five days. There is a lunch and there is a dinner. One of those meals consists of sweet potato, broccoli, and chicken. And the second meal is a protein bowl that is brown rice, ground turkey, carrots and mushrooms, onions and bell peppers so those are the two meals that we're working with and that we're going to be making so the first thing that i get prepped are sweet potatoes personally my favorite type of sweet potato is white sweet potato well technically they're called purple sweet potato but the inside of it is white so they look like this usually they're called japanese sweet potatoes um i get them from trader joe's purple on the outside white on the inside I like the flavor and the texture of them the best out of all the sweet potatoes. For this, I get a baking sheet. I put tin foil on it because it's the easiest way to then clean after. You just want to rinse your sweet potatoes first because you don't know who's touched them. Oven is at 450. I take the potato. So find that the spot that's going to just like sit flat and then I just stab a few times with a fork. And then you just lay it on your baking sheet. It's also a nice arm workout. Also, don't stab your other hand while doing it, you know? So I just place them all on the baking sheet like this. Personally, I think this is the best way of cooking your sweet potato. It gives it the best flavor. I put it on the second highest rack of the oven. Put it in there. I leave it. I forget about it. They just stay in there for an hour and then they bake and then the skin comes off so easily and they taste the best. Then for the rice, water is already boiling and I'm going to make two cups of rice. So this is brown basmati rice. I have this big pot with a good amount of water boiling in it. And then you're gonna wanna do two cups of brown basmati rice or any rice of your choosing. And then you're gonna wanna rinse it first, of course, get rid of the starch. And then once it's rinsed, you just wanna put it in a pot. Rice is in. You're gonna wanna set it to 30 minutes let it boil next is going to be our broccoli so i make the broccoli oven roasted it just tastes so much better than sauteing the broccoli i got this organic broccoli florit package from trader joe's i got two of them i take the florets and i cut them up into smaller pieces and then i get organic of course so i lay them all out on a baking sheet with a piece of tin foil on top and then i lay out the broccoli flat like this then all i do to it i'll hold it up i just do a little drizzle above it garlic powder all over it and then some salt just a little and then i just toss it all together so it's all mixed in and seasoned so then you're gonna take the broccoli I just put it in the middle shelf of the oven. So for the broccoli, once it's in the oven, I just keep checking on it until it's to my desired cookness. Give your rice a little stir. The next thing we are going to make is our veggie medley. So we are going to cook onions, carrots, and mushrooms all at once because we don't have any time to waste. Make sure you wash your mushrooms. I use a nice big pan, drizzle a little olive oil, and then in there, I got a package of diced, pre-diced onions. The diced onions. And then shredded carrots. And then we're going to cut up our washed mushrooms. A disclaimer, I'm not a health professional. I'm not a nutritionist. I've been cooking for my whole life. I've gone through many, many, many different types of diet like i've tried a lot of different things i'm not a professional so don't take anything that i'm doing or using as like this is what you do to get healthy or whatever we've learned that this works for george so it depends on the person but yeah so don't come at me okay for anything that i'm doing <laughs> all right and then you're just gonna throw in the mushrooms all right so you're gonna want to put the heat to like medium high and then I'm gonna stir it all together 
and we're gonna be sauteing it. So you're gonna wanna let it sit and cook for a while, you know, to get golden. So they're yummy. We're gonna get these prepped and ready while the first round of vegetables cook. So for five meals, I do one red, a yellow, and an orange. All right, and then I'm gonna wash them. Okay, so um, for your bell peppers, I cut them like a apple. One slice, so I cut all the sides. So I have four pieces like this, and then you just get rid of the middle. And then I take them, and I'll just like literally hold it like this. I don't cut things like the proper chef way, but it works for me. So they look like this. So I'm just putting them aside in a bowl. Ooh, just a big, big bowl. Also, while I cook, this is like, oh, that just sprayed me in the face. So my veggies shrunk down a little bit, so then I'm stirring them. Our rice is almost done. All right, we have the bell peppers. I'm gonna put to the side. So now, literally all we have to make, once those are done cooking, we just cook the bell peppers and then we're gonna cook our meat. A vegetable update, so they look like this, so they're getting softer, and you're just gonna wanna continue. Just leave them, let them cook. Oh, the rice is done. I turned it off. So I washed our chicken breasts. I have four of them for chicken boobies, chicken tatas. Now you're gonna drain whatever water is left in your rice. I'm getting a steamed facial. My friend, the Ross, and I'm going to set it aside, mix that up. I'm going to drizzle a little olive oil on the rice, so while it's sitting and I'm cooking the rest of the stuff, it's not getting, uh, like, sticky and clumped up together. I personally, I hate sticky, I, I don't like sticky rice, I like my rice to be separated. Each grain should be its own identity and own person. It shouldn't be stuck to other people. I stir it. So to prep our chicken, I'm going to take each breast and I'm just going to cut any piece of fat that's around the outside. We're just going to clean up our chicken and then leave it whole. Leave it as a whole breast. Stir vegetables! Woo! Our carrot medley is coming along that. Wash your hands after touching the raw chicken. Alright, this is what they are looking like. See, they're getting nice and sauteed and grilled, which is what you want. To season the carrot medley, I'm going to be doing some minced garlic, this much garlic. And then I'm going to be doing some Dijon mustard to get a good spoonful of that. And then I'm going to be doing some everything but the olote seasoning, which is from Trader Joe's. We're going to do a dash of salt. And then I'm gonna let it simmer with the flavors now on there for a little bit longer. They're so good. So the veggies are done. I'm just setting them to the side in a bowl. This is what they should look like. Kind of like doneness to them. Now for the peppers, again, just a little drizzle of olive oil. I'm just gonna dump them in the pan, all of them. And just like the other vegetables, these are going to saute in the pan for a while because you want to get them like really well cooked and golden. Let the peppers sit on the stove for a while and then I should probably check on the broccoli. <laughs> okay, so the broccoli is almost done, but I'm just going to stir it up and then spread it back out. See, it was so much broccoli to start with and it shrinks so much. Your vegetables at first will look like twice as much as you need, but then it shrinks. Remember that. So they're, they're pretty much done. I'm just gonna leave them in for literally one more minute. And then to tell if these are ready, you just poke your fork through and if it feels, you know, soft on the inside, then they're, then they're done. I, some sides are a little too burnt <laughs> this time around, but oh well, it happens. So we're gonna do a little salt, a little garlic, garlic on everything, duh. We are going to take this soyaki, which is a teriyaki sauce from Trader Joe's. This is my favorite teriyaki sauce. So the bell peppers, you're just gonna wanna, you know, stir them up here and there. For our chicken, I'm gonna be cooking it <laughs> in the Power XL air fryer grill. So in your case, uh, if you're making yourself chicken, uh, a tip on how to cook it, if uh, you're looking for a fast way, 
You can just, you know, chop up your chicken breast into little like squares and then just saute it in a pan on the stove. Or there's a few recipes you can look up online. So I'm gonna preheat the grill. In case you have one of these, I slide the grill plate in position six. Uh, and then I turn the function dial to grill and I set the temperature to 350 Set the timer for 25 minutes. Yeah, you let the grill heat up for 10 minutes And then you put your chicken on the grill and you cook it for like five minutes on one side six minutes on the other and then it's per thick. Oh, our broccoli ah. Yay! It's perfect Mmm I'm a salt fiend. Like I need seasoning on things, I need flavor. And this you really don't have to do much to it, you just put it in the oven. So this is really roasted. Some people might like it a little less roasted or a little more, but this is usually the perfect cook for me. I'm gonna poke our sweet potatoes. They're doing good, they're cooking and stuff, little bubbas. I can leave them in there for longer. I'm going to lay out my chicken on the cutting board. And then what you're gonna wanna do Super simple. You're just gonna wanna drizzle your chicken with a little bit of olive oil, sprinkle some salt, pepper, and some garlic on both sides. So I'm just gonna, I just do a little here, a little here, a little here, a little there. And then I do a little salt, garlic, pepper. And then I'm going to rub it in on both sides and set the chicken aside. The chicken is prepped has the seasonings in the olive oil. Also, I always give it a little bit of a, like I smack it with my fist on the thicker part so that it's a little bit more even. And then over here we have our veggies to the side, broccoli to the side. I've laid out our containers. Now we're gonna put the chicken in and that's it. We've changed locations. All right, so I have my chicken and I'm going to put it in our air grill, fire grill thing. So it's just on grill mode. I'm going to spray the grill with a little bit of uh, avocado oil. Ah! I'm going to lay down on the chicken. Mm. We're going to do five minutes on the first side. Set a timer for five minutes. Okay, your timer is set for five minutes. And then while that happens, I'm gonna we're going to finally season our rice. Our rice already has a little bit of olive oil in there. Now we're going to do some teriyaki sauce. This is a lot of rice. It looks like I put on a lot of sauce, but it really didn't. This is so much rice. <laughs> I'm probably going to put like half of it just away in the fridge as extra food. And I'll eat it throughout the week. So then we're going to do a little bit of salt. We're going to do some garlic powder. We're going to do a splash of rice vinegar in there. Just a little bit. Mix it all in. Mmm. So good. Do a little pepper. That's perfect. Now, our last thing that we need to cook is our ground turkey. And super simple. We're just going to throw it in this pan. Pretty much the same thing as the rest. A little bit of olive oil. I'm going to season it with some some garlic, a little bit more mustard, some rice vinegar, salt, a little pepper. That's gonna be our ground turkey. We're almost done. 16 seconds on the clock for the chicken. Oh, baby, look at those grill marks. Set my timer for six minutes. Your timer is set for six minutes. Okay, so I put the ground turkey in. I'm just gonna stir it around and, you know, separate it so it's grounded. You're grounded! We'll stay in your room five days. You get it. I usually let it cook like pretty much all the way through before I add seasonings to it so it doesn't like get dry. My timer went off. Now I'm just going to check the thick parts of the chicken, make sure it's cooked all the way through. It's not pink or anything. This is how nicely it cooks it. I'm using a butter knife. Check. <laughs> it looks amazing, but I'm gonna leave it in for like an extra minute just to be safe. Our ground turkey is doing well. All right, so the point where I'm gonna add some fresh garlic, I'm gonna add some usual mustard, I'm gonna add some everything but the olote seasoning, do a little rice vinegar, pepper. Woo! Look at this. Wow. Oh!
The food is done cooking and it's all sitting out and I'm going to assemble it all into the containers. George is home. Hey guys. So we're gonna start with the uh, protein bowl. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two scoops, two heaping scoops of the rice at the bottom. We're gonna top it with the ground turkey. Now, on top, we're gonna layer our um, carrot, mushroom, onion medley. Now, you are going to layer your beautiful bell peppers on the top. So, we have our protein bowls. Those are done, and then I container them up, and I stack them up, and I put them in the fridge. Most satisfying thing. Okay, so we're gonna take our broccoli. It's been sitting here nicely, patiently. It is so juicy. There's Look at all this juice that's on the plate. And when you press down on the chicken, it's just like full, it's moist. Now this word bothers a lot of people, but it doesn't bother me, so I don't care. This chicken is M-O-I-S-T moist. And then the sweet potato. But once they're cooked, it's really easy to just rip off the skin. And then I just slice them up into like halves or little pieces. I sprayed it very lightly with um, the avocado spray oil and a dash of salt, that's it. And then add like an extra little slice. And look at that, meal number two, it's beautiful. Little kiss. And you pack them up in the And they're good for five days. There you go, Bubby. Looks so nice and hot. He's about to have one of his protein bowls. I just want to let you know, my whole life, my whole life, I've been working to be an actor. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not going to lie, having a movie that's premiered in front of everybody on Hulu, <laughs> equally as cool as a hot girlfriend cooking me dinner. Not going to lie, it's pretty f up. Oh, so we're equal. Pretty up there, babe. You're very, oh, very thank you. blessed to have you in my life. Can you hear that? So it's good? Oh my god. It's good? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So you feel like these meals have- You can't concentrate when you're straddling like that. You're gonna need a ton of down. Okay, though, first of all, don't do that. It's <laughs> not an OnlyFans. You can't be throwing the camera around down there. I'm bummy. I said it's not helping out. You just want to throw them <laughs> So do you feel like these meals have helped you uh, with your fitness journey? <laughs> hey, duh. I lost 20 pounds. Really? 20, huh? What was that? Nah, not 20, but realistically I dropped like like a, a good 14, 15 pounds. Amazing. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of weight. Like, That's a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. And I was very much addicted to eating bad. And because of your healthy food that tastes good, it helped me separate myself from the junk food. Well, I'm happy I could help you with that, Bubby. All right. You're paying me to say this, right? Shut up. <laughs> not even a little bit. Uh, my battery's dying. And that was our perfect conclusion to the video. If you're watching this video, she puts in a lot of hard work into this. So do me a favor, go to Bubba Club, subscribe to me, and if you want, like like her video or something like that. Or comment on her video. I don't know. What do you want? Subscribe to my channel, okay? Come on. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and you guys learned something maybe. Uh, if you do make any of the meals at all, please take a picture of them and tag me on Instagram or put it on your story or DM me. I want to see because that's pretty cool. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Babe, let's give them a group kiss. Yeah, if you want more. Of that loving, go to Bubba Club. Yeah. Bubba Club.com. You want to make out with me via uh, camera? <laughs> <laughs>